See seasons greetings everyone. Welcome back to Vegas Boost. I wanted to do a very very short video on something that I was asked uh, quite a bit when I was doing the Camry Slave Cylinder video and that is how I was going to do the line and because there is no factory line that will work with this I wanted to explain how I did my buddies. So simply this is the fitting that comes with the Camry Slave Cylinder. Obviously it's a banjo type. So if you have, if you can make a line that hooks into this, go for it. But this is how I did mine. So essentially, this is this is what goes into the into the slave, and I ditched this fitting all together, and I went with a banjo fitting. Okay, so this banjo fitting fits. Well, actually, you know what? This isn't made for, but still, it'll work. Uh, of course, don't forget your your crush washers. Uh, so this is a 4 a in fitting. And this is a 4A in line. Now, I only went with a 16 inch line because I think that's as, that's as far, or actually, no, it doesn't need to reach that far. It, remember, guys, this is in the stock placement. It's in the exact same place as it was for factory. So, this 4A in, 4A in line. And I got this adapter for uh, the factory clutch line, the factory clutch hard line. So, it is an M12 by 1 female to a 4A in male. And I wanted to point something out here. I don't know if you guys can tell. You see how that's little, it's a little conical in there. It's not exactly flat. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell there. Yeah, there you go. So it's a little, yeah. So there's not, a, and as you can tell, there's not a lot of threads in there. There's maybe six. So this is another one that I'm, that I'm giving to a buddy. So what I did with my buddies, and this is the one that I'm using on his car. I drilled it, as you can see, and I tapped it. And as you can see, I added about four to four and a half more threads. And the bottom is now flat. Now, behind, mind you, the, the, the stock fitting is not, uh, it's a flare. So it's got that little bubble at the end of it. So it doesn't need to seal against like an AN fitting. It doesn't need that conical surface. So I, I drilled it and I tapped it with an M12 by one tap. See if you can get that on camera. And told by one, and that's it. I mean, honestly, it, uh, at, if you use this like this, like the way it comes, uh, it, it, will, it will not it will not seat. You, it, it, you'll you'll you can tighten it down, but the metal part, the hard line, will you can still kind of shimmy it a little bit, and you will have air bubbles, and it'll leak, and it won't work. So um, I found that out the hard way when I was trying to bleed the clutch, and it wasn't doing anything, and I just kept seeing fluid coming out. So I figured it out. So this is the way you kind of want to do it. So, I, mean, I know, I know people out there um, can buy a clutch line that's a little longer or whatnot, but if you're doing the Camry Slave, there's not really an elegant solution to it. Um, aside from getting a custom line, which is what I did, but my custom line cost me about $45 to get one custom made here and where I live now is about $65. And these fittings all together cost me about 30 bucks for the line, for, for this fitting, um, Let's see, where did I go? Oh, yes. <laughs> so for the banjo fitting, for this fitting, and for the line, it's about 30 bucks shipped. I got them on eBay. Um, this is the, uh, this is what the, we came in. This is the banjo adapter. And this is the other, it came from the same company. And of course, I mean, if you're gonna be going this way, I don't know if you already have a tap, but I would advise you to get one or just take it somewhere and have it done for you. So I'll, I'll show, I'll, I'll put a picture up here of what the stock fitting looks like. And if you know what I mean, it's very, the, the threads are very, very deep. It's very long uh, um, threads, or as I say, the fitting. So this stock stuff, this wouldn't work with these six um, threads. So that's it. Um, very short video today, guys. I just wanted to show you guys that because I've been asked a lot about it. And um, hopefully that can help somebody out there who's looking to do the same. So this will be the last video uh, for a little bit. Um, tomorrow is Christmas. So uh, Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy New Year. Take care, everyone. Please like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate everyone. Please take care. Have a good one. Merry Christmas yet again. <laughs> Stay dirty.